and welcome to Stamping Chat. Well, it's our final episode. Can you believe it's our final episode? Um, well, I'd like to welcome back our lovely panel. Uh, we've just had such a great time chatting with them and we hope that it's given you some insights into being a demonstrator. Now today, we're talking about sharing what you love and being part of the Stampin' Up! family. Well, I must say, you're all looking very festive. You're wearing all your lovely Christmas jumpers. I think we might have to do a, you know, who's wearing the, the most festive and fun Christmas jumper. Yeah. I think that'll be me. I'm, <laughs> you? I'm 3D. You're 3D. You're 3D. How about you? Well, mine does do a few tricks. Does it? Yeah. So you've got the Christmas tricks jumper and, and I think we've got a bit of mine's kind of glitzy yeah glitzy and, and glamorous Kerry um, so talking about fun ladies um, you've just come back from a, an event in Brussels is that right yeah on the stage on stage live. yeah on stage live the first on stage live event a uh, global event did so. you have lots of fun Loved, as always met some yeah. new demonstrators from other countries yeah. um, mm. and saw some amazing projects and um, sneak peeks so it was lots of inspiring fantastic. ideas and things yeah. so great so so maybe you can share some of the other fun things you've experienced in your journey so far there's so many because <laughs> name but a few i mean from the simple things of you know crafting with the girls on a friday night to going to the big events like yeah. telford and on stage and convention prior to that it's just so many things yeah. and the incentive you? trips that were mentioned in the in the last the last episode that you know they're always up there and and something for other demonstrators to you know to aim for um just that i really really put a lot of fun into my classes and my events yeah. that i run for my customers i'm sure if you ask them they'd probably say i would hope they would say they're a lot of fun anyway <laughs> yeah. um i certainly don't take myself too seriously when i'm running them so we we have a lot of fun obviously the crafting is the the reason why yeah. they attend but i try and make them really light-hearted and and sociable events yeah. that they'll want to come back to yeah and how, how about you have, oh, sorry. we have fun as a team as well yeah. Yeah. you know it, at christmas we at our monthly gatherings we all bring food and you know oh, it's cool. a so real social own, thing as well yeah christmas little parties then yeah. little soirees your little soirees yeah. yeah. i've run a christmas event once before with the, for all my ladies and yeah they all just spontaneously started singing christmas carols and it was lovely Aww. just to see and hear them all just yeah. thoroughly enjoying being with each other, many have never met each other. It's lovely, yeah. really lovely. So, so what would you say you you love about being part of the Stamping Up community? Because we hear a lot about you know the family feeling and, and that connection, um, and and the craft bonds us. But there are so many other wonderful things. Um, so, so what's your what are your thoughts on that? Well, we do make you know a lot of friendships through what we do. We're meeting new people all the time. Yeah. Um, and, and we're creating friendships as well, which is really important. So bringing other crafters together, yeah. you know, that then bond and have their special friendships too. So I feel like I've never had as many friends as, yeah. as I've got <laughs> since I did Stamping Up. And I have ladies that have met um, at classes and things only two or three times before, so much so that new ladies who who have come in after yeah. have thought they've been friends for forever um, yeah, because true. they've they've just... Yeah. They've just bonded over a, a passion that they've, they've shared together. Yeah. So I, I just think it's the, the friendship and the sense of feeling valued and yeah. that I found something that I'm good, quite good at, really. I would like, you know, I've found something that I like doing and I'm good yeah. at doing and get rewarded f yeah. for what I'm doing. So, Michaela, can you share sort of some of the friendships, perhaps, that you've made since joining Stampin' Up? Yeah, I've, I've got a small team, so I've, I've got a nice, uh, fairly closely knit, actually, in locality. So we meet up and have lunches together and team meets and things like that. And that's just fun to be a part of, not yeah. just their crafting journey, but equally Absolutely. we discuss what the families are getting up to, which yeah. is really nice. Absolutely. Yeah. And how about you, Kerry? Sort yeah, of same, probably some you know, similar thing. You do find that, you know, there are people sometimes that do become quite special um, that you bond with. And, and I think it's just great that we're able to do that through something you know, that we physically love doing, so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so ladies, can you tell me a little bit about why Stamping Up's important to you? Well, I feel like we're, we're part of this amazing sort of family, this, this almost this sort of unwritten understanding between demonstrators, and for me that that is, a, a, I'm a part of a UK family, but also a couple of years ago, I connected with a demonstrator in Australia, um, Sarah, who, who I've only met once on the cruise last year, but we, we chat every day on Facebook and we, we actually do Skype crafting sessions together. <laughs> That's 
Sounds so, like a lot of fun. Um, yeah, who so else does that? Can. Anyone else? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. So she's in her craft room in Australia, in Perth, and I'm in my craft room in Yorkshire, and uh, we have our little iPads out, and um, oh, we can see each other. We're, we're not talking all the time. There's there's no need to be chatting all the time, but I feel like I'm with her, <laughs> and she she does feel like a family member, and she's become a lifelong friend, and and my boys come on the screen and they'll wave hi to her and I send That's little so treats lovely. over for her girls and mm -hmm. things like that. So it's without stamping up, I, yeah, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have met her and she's yeah. an amazing person. I love that story. I'm now kind of envisaging Pudsey twinned with Perth. Yeah, That's great, great, isn't it? Great. <laughs> and we are, we, are both Mrs. we are both Mrs. K's as well, are we? Yeah. Well, there you go. You were, de you were destined <laughs> yes, to meet yes. and, and connect. <laughs> How about you, Michaela? Well, for me, um, Stampin' Up! gave me the, the choice to give up a 17-year um, career that previously took me all around the world. So it allowed me to be at home with a little boy and watch yeah. the family grow and then continue with hobbies that then became a business and, and all the challenges that that comes with it and, and spread that love yeah. with all the ladies that come to my classes and yeah. have all the giggles there. So, yeah, without it, I wouldn't yeah. have been able to have done this. So, um, so ladies, over the course of, uh, of these episodes, you know, you've talked a lot about sort of the things you do as, as demonstrators, and we've got to know a little bit about you. Um, so in your journey, I'd, I'd just love to know what some of your best moments have been. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's a difficult <laughs> one because there are so many. Um, I think for me, you know, being recognised, walking across the stage, you know, it's a real proud moment and, you know, being awarded for your achievements. Um, but just normal every day, spending time with my customers, seeing them, you know, sitting, crafting, creating and sharing and um, building friendships, th those are real strong moments too. So Yeah, absolutely. Watching, yeah. watching someone look at a piece of uh, 12 by 12 cardstock on the table and thinking, am I really going to create that from this? Yeah. And then they do and they walk out and they're just so delighted. It is it's a real heartwarming feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Stand out. I, I just love experiencing the new places that I've been really fortunate to, to visit. Um, as I mentioned in a previous episode in Utah, and to go whitewater rafting down the, yeah. the river yeah. in Utah was just an, an amazing experience, swimming with the dolphins, the Vienna Boys Choir that Kerry yeah. talked things about. Things you probably would never have yeah. These are things that I couldn't, yeah. couldn't really arrange with my own, you know, yeah. under my own um, efforts. The, the th sort of the things that money can't buy really, and, and sometimes it, it, the priceless moments are the moments that, that, that yeah. you treasure. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I agree, it's the, the making a difference to, to people and when they come yeah. to come to your class having never done anything and some for some of them it is a, a challenge yeah. to, to get there so yeah and the great things like when we've got catalog sneak peeks oh, and things like that yeah. and pre-orders you know the excitement and the buzz of seeing new product and you know seeing samples that have been made and you know really good so what have been some of the other best moments recently i i received a message from one of my team members and um we realized that it was it was a year since we'd sort of met for the first time and we, we sort of recognised that via messaging and she, she just left me a really nice comment saying I'm so so pleased that I met you and mm -hmm. I, I can't imagine you know my life without stamping up and you know it's given yeah. me a bit more of a purpose and things so li little things like that really are really yeah important. they are really touching yeah. Yeah. yeah that's very touching yeah I was um, I was actually asked to present at one of the the training events and having had a fear of standing and doing public speaking in the past, it was quite it was quite a challenge to do. But I did it and yeah, felt quite proud. So like Michaela, I've presented at events as well, but I've also had team members present at events. So it is again it's like the proud mum moment watching yeah. and watching yeah. your and being nervous for them as, yeah. as you're watching them present. And at watching events. them grow as well. Yeah, from from that starter kit. Huge and small, it's you know, they're all Great moments, aren't they? Okay, well, thank you uh, for sharing your best moments. I'm sure you're going to be having many more <laughs> great so. moments because we, you know, we are continually learning, aren't we? There's lots of, of new things that happen Absolutely. all the time, and I think that that's great. And we hear that a lot 
uh, from demonstrators that they, they do enjoy learning new skills and, and you know in that they gain confidence. Um, so sadly that's the end of the show again. We'll be chatting more in part two about making a difference and that will be the final part of our mini video series so we hope you can join us. Uh, you'll also get to see Charlotte Stampin' snippets and they're always so much fun. Um, but now it's time for our Stampin' Survey Said competition question. Meeting new people and building relationships is a big part of Stamping Up and a chance to make lots of new friends. So in our recent survey, we asked our survey respondents how many close friends they had. Now, what percentage said they had less than four close friends? Was it A, B or C? Now, if you know the answer, email your answer A, B or C to share at stampingchat.co.uk. If you give us the right answer, you'll be entered into a draw and the lucky winner will receive Stamping Up goodies, which include Layered Letters Alphabet Stamp Set, Old Olive Classic Ink Pad and the Sketch Dots Tag Bag Gift Bag. Now, the competition entry deadline and all terms and conditions will be found in the description in the link below this video. So the best of luck will reveal the lucky winner in part two of this episode, which we will show next Wednesday. So again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll speak to you again soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.